Susie, you know, stocks took a bit of a day off again today, uh, but the consumer is certainly not taking any time off. Oh, you're absolutely right about that, Tyler. American consumers are doing very well and surprisingly in the mood to spend. Cash registers across the country were ringing up more sales than expected in April and offering hope for some economic growth this spring. Government figures out today show that retail sales rose a better than expected one-tenth of one percent last month. Now, that doesn't sound like much, right? But remember, that reverses a sharp decline in March. Americans spent more on new autos, clothing, electronics, and appliances, and they paid a lot less for gasoline, which saw the biggest drop in price in four and a half years. We'll get an even, even more insight into the health of the consumer this week and next week when Walmart, Macy's, Nordstrom, Best Buy, and Tiffany, to name just a few, will be re reporting their earnings. And here with a closer look at the retailers and the consumer is Joe Feldman. He's a retail analyst at the Telsey Advisory Group. Mr. Feldman, welcome. Susie just ran off the names of some companies that will be out with results uh, within the next few days. Walmart, sure. Macy's, Nordstrom, Best Buy, Tiffany. That runs the gamut from the discounters and the mass merchants to the more specialized and the high end. Who's doing best in this environment? Well, the discounters continue to do quite well. Um, you know, people are shopping for basic items, consumables, anything kind of grocery related, household items that are related. And the discounters win in that environment. And we continue to see that. You know, last week Costco reported some sales numbers that were quite good yet again. We think that Walmart, Target next week will sound pretty solid when they do report. All right. And, and there are a couple of stocks that you are uh, recommending to investors to buy. Tell us a little bit about Best Buy, Whole Foods and PetSmart, all very different kinds of companies. Why do you like them? Yeah, well, it's interesting. Best Buy is a turnaround story. And it's, it's a, you know, everybody left Best Buy for dead thinking that, well, Amazon was going to take over any e-commerce kind of sales. The company has been on a big effort to cut costs. They've brought down prices on their products so that they're at parity with anybody on the Internet. And at the same time, you have this interesting dynamic where tax collection for Internet sales is being pushed on the states. And in some states, it's already starting to happen. And where it's happening, you're seeing sales trends at Best Buy actually pick up a little bit. So. If you can get some more sales through the door at Best Buy and attract those customers with, with prices that are at parity, plus the lower cost, suddenly there's a lot more earnings power. And so we like that one. A name like a PetSmart or even a Whole Foods, they've been laggards lately. You know, they haven't really participated in this rally. And there's really nothing wrong with the companies. They're still doing the same thing. There's still solid growth at both companies. PetSmart, for example, is a play on the housing market a little bit. You know, household adoption, uh, household formation drives pet adoption. So there's two names right there that we, we do like. I thought Whole Foods had a pretty good uh, report last week and the stock gave it a good pop. They did, you know, and that was great evidence of the fact that it really had been lagging and that, you know, it was, it was a misread on really the, the underlying trend there. You know, the trend was fine and people, investors were a little nervous that sales had decelerated a little bit, but they really hadn't. And you saw how quickly the stock really came back up oh. and that was a laggard stock. I want to go back to Best Buy very quickly. Don't they still have a massive real estate problem? Well, the interesting thing about the real estate is the stores are still highly productive. You know, they're getting good sales per square foot. Look at the cash flow generation of the company. It's, it's, it's quite a robust cash flow. Tell us about JCPenney, um, new management, a mm -hmm. new strategy. Would you buy this stock at $18? If we're investing for the longer term, we at Telsey think that they can get things right. Nearer term, I think it's going to be a little tougher. Once the promotions do come back into play and start to attract that customer, we think that the, the earnings will start to follow through. That's probably when you want to buy the stock. I think uh, Mike Ullman coming back as CF, CEO is going to help, and he'll drive those promotions. But I think we need it probably a, another half year before we see that starting to translate into stronger sales. All right, Joe Feldman, thank you very much for being with us. Joe is with Telsey Advisory Thanks. Group.